Next is dry dog, which is again a very important term, and we will be learning in detail along with types in chapter number 5 that is locks and locks. The basic purpose of dry dog is to carry out the repair and maintenance work of sheep. Now, whenever we want to carry out the repair or maintenance work of sheep, we have, we need to have that space in a dry stage. That is, we need to exclude or we need to remove the existing water. So here, the term used along with dog is dry. Why? Because there is absence of water. Water has to be removed. And the reason for is for it is that at the time of carrying out the maintenance or repair work. We need that space in dry state. If water is existing, then we will not be able to carry out the repair or maintenance work. So this is an image for dry dock provided for carrying out maintenance, repair and construction of ships. That is its main function. At entrance, lock gate is provided. Again now, lock gate is a which can be opened or closed. So whenever we want the ship to enter the harbour, we will open the gate. And after allowing ship to enter the dock of the harbour, we will close the gate and after that we will pump out the water to get into dry stage. Repeating again, gate uh, is it uh, general terms we can consider it similar to the gates which we see in our day to day lives. The gates will be provided which will be opened at the time of entering the ship. After the ship has entered, the gates will be closed and the water which is existing in the dock that specific area where we want to carry out the operation, from that area the water will be pumped out and we will have that dog in dry stage. Again, talking about it or we will be learning about it in detail when the time arrives in chapter number 5. But right now we are learning its basic function. So gate will be closed after bringing vessel inside dog and then water is pumped out to make it dry to carry out the repair work. So it also has various elements but right now uh, we will keep up to here we will learn the elements later next is wet dog now here as the word used is wet so it will be consisting or it will have the existence of water provided when there are variations in tidal level as an enclosed basin where a number of ships can be berthed now if i talk about gates that is lock gates are not compulsorily provided everywhere they are provided to make sure that the fluctuations in water level inside the harbour and outside the harbour do not have an effect on the existing or the operations which are being carried out. So again if I talk specifically about wet dock, in dry dock always gates will be needed because we have to pump out water. But talking about wet dock there is again a term called tidal basin which we will be learning later. But in bed dog specifically, there is provision of gates and the reason for it is that the fluctuation in water level outside that portion does not affect the operations which are being carried out inside the harbour. Because if there is no existence of gate, if there is fluctuation in water level, then there will also be fluctuation in the calm state of water which is existing inside the harbour. And ultimately, that will have an effect on the operations which are being carried out inside. So provided when there are variations in tidal level, the reason as I explained, as an enclosed basin where number of ships can be berthed. So it provides a space or area for accommodating number of ships. Water inside can be maintained as per need with, without influence of outside water level fluctuations. So as I told, it is constructed to take in account the water level fluctuations. Where the fluctuation in water level is very high, or where it is a considerable uh, level fluctuation is existing. In that stage, wet dock is constructed. If there is not much amount of fluctuation, then we might uh, not construct the wet dock and there will be tidal, simple tidal basin. But I will be explaining tidal basin when that topic arrives. Entry is controlled by the lock gate. So this is the view for the wet dock where the provision of gate is there. Due to provision of this gate, the fluctuation in water level will not affect the operations which are being carried out in this basin or dock. So again, the fluctuation in tidal level will not be affecting this basin, this area, this dock 
while carrying out the needed operations. Next is jetty. Now, if I talk about jetty, uh, comparing it with pier, bar, and quay, we learned three terms previously: pier, bar, quay. The direction of pier was perpendicular to the shore, and the direction of jetty is also perpendicular to the shore. So that is the similarity between pier and jetty. That is both have direction or alignment which is perpendicular to the shore. And as I explained that whenever the direction or alignment is perpendicular to the shore, the berthing can be done on both the sides. So constructed perpendicular to the shoreline or breakwater. Again, basically, here the function is to provide berthing to give accommodation to carry out the loading and loading work of cargo or commodity. Berthing of ship is possible on both the sides, as we can see in the image that berthing can be done on both the sides. Purpose is for handling petrol, kerosene, or crude oil. So basically, the difference between pier and jetty. We talked about similarity. Now, if I talk about difference, basically jetty handles low weight commodity cargo. So the petroleum products or low weight commodity or cargo can be handled on jetty, while the heavy weight cargo or commodity are unloaded on pier. So that is about the difference. This is the view for jetty. Next components are dolphins. Basically, there are two types of dolphins. That is, resting dolphins. Mooring dolphins. The breasting dolphins are shown with red color code, and the mooring dolphins are shown with yellow color code. Basically, the purpose of dolphins is to provide anchorage, that is, to provide facility for tying up of ships. Now, what happens here, or what is the purpose of this, is that basically, whenever the ship has arrived, then at the time, as I told that. Uh, in natural phenomena, there are various elements such as wind, wave, currents, tides. So, say for example, the ship has been berthed, it has been given space for accommodation for carrying out its activity or it is taking a halt or it is taking shelter in the harbour. So, what happens is that basically we tie up the ship with the dolphins. That is, the breasting dolphins are basically those structure on which the anchorage is given that is tying up of sheep is done with the breasting dolphins. Now as I uh, use the word natural phenomena, there might be a situation that the waves or wind by, might be moving in the opposite direction to the direction in which the sheep is tied to the dolphins. Repeating again, what I am saying is that there uh, is a probability and there are chances the wind or a wave at a certain point of time will move in direction opposite to the direction of anchorage that is to the direction where the dolphins have been tied to the ship. The direction of wind, waves or currents is not fixed, it keeps on varying. So whenever the wind or waves are tying, trying to take the ship away or trying to drag the ship away from the dolphins, in that situation, the mooring dolphins will come into picture. As we can see that resting dolphins are adjacent or nearer, while the mooring dolphins are on the backward side. So basically what I am saying is that mooring dolphins are provided as a factor of safety and when that pool is higher, that is the pool in opposite direction is higher, when the waves or wind is trying to drag the ship away from the resting dolphins, then Again, the anchorage or tying up facility of the ship is given to the mooring dolphins as well and that is as a factor of safety. So dolphins are used for tying up ships that is to provide anchorage and also for transferring cargo that is sometimes uh, on the breasting dolphins the cargo or commodity can be transferred from one ship to other when moved. Attaching boat by cable or rope to the so that is mooring, uh, same as anchorage, attaching the boat by cable or rope to the shore. That is providing anchorage between the dolphins and the ship. Providing to hold the ship against a wind blowing in direction away from dock. So as I explained that whenever that 
pool will exist at that time mooring dolphin will also come into picture so it acts as a factor of safety to make sure that failure of resting dolphin does not take place because there is also chances that we will have to handle a heavy ship so if only breasting dolphins are provided then it might be able to sustain the pull for small ships but whenever the large ships come into picture then also the need of mooring dolphins will arise not designed for impact of ship that is basically while we are designing dolphins that is whenever we are making sure as to how we are supposed to build the structure to sustain the needed load in that case the impact load is not taken into account that is we are not considering the impact load of sheep or dolphin a uh, sheep on dolphins so basically it is not designed for taking the impact load of sheep but for lateral and uplift forces of vessels that is the lateral force which will take place due to the pull it is only designed for that force next talking about the resting dolphins so again the same image large marine structures for mooring vessels that is for tying up of ship tying up of ship is done for both the dolphins designed to take impact load of ship from damage as we discussed in the previous slide that the mooring dolphins will not take any impact load again the reason is that they are too far to come in contact with the ship and also they are small size structure so they are not able to handle the impact load so being far away not being adjacent to the ship they will not come in contact with the ship they are small size structure that is the mooring dolphins and they will not take the impact load but the dolphins which are adjacent to the ship which are nearer to the ship and which will come in contact with the ship should be able to take the impact load so that are the breasting dolphins provided with bollards now bollards is basically a sort of uh, mooring accessories on which or the structure on which the rope or the cable of the ship is being tied up bollards basically we will be talking about it later but right now uh, the meaning of bollards is mooring accessories it is sort of structure which exists on the resting dolphins on which the cables are being tied up to take lines for moving of ship along the dock or for holding it against the current so basically the cable of ship is being tied on it so that is regarding the mooring dolphins and resting dolphins the difference between them and what is the need of mooring dolphins and what sort of design difference exists between the mooring dolphin and the resting dolphins next are fenders horizontal or vertical wooden members fastened to deck that is basically fenders are of two types that is wooden fender or rubber fender the basic purpose is that it absorbs the impact load say for example we are trying to berth the ship that is we are trying to accommodate the ship in the harbor then while giving that berthing the ship will dash or will come in contact with the platform and that situation fenders will come into picture what happens is that what happens is that whenever the ship is getting accommodated it will dash or it will sort of generate an impact with the docking platform that is platform along which it will be tied up so this rubber structures that are the rubber fenders are provided on the ship the rubber fenders can also be provided on the platform on which the ship will be tied up ultimately and what happens is that at time of dashing the rubbers will absorb the impact energy and there will be no sort of damage to ship or the platform or minimum damage to ship or the platform you might have seen these fenders in many a videos so basically the function is to absorb impact energy it is it might be a wooden fender which is tied to the deck or rubber fender which can exist on ship or deck or both and what happens is that it absorbs the impact energy while sort of giving accommodation or while berthing to make sure that the deterioration of the rubber fender takes place but there is minimum damage to ship or platform to prevent ship from being damaged during mooring as i told that while berthing while mooring while tying up the ship to the platform or deck the fender will absorb energy and it will 
will come into picture. So these are the views of fenders. Next component is mole. It is a rock type structure extending from shore. Again, as we can see that it is a structure extending from shore which is perpendicular to the shore. Side slopes are provided with riprap that is the loose stones as we can see on both the sides that is riprap or loose stones are placed on side slopes. The purpose of placing the riprap is to make sure that the slopes which are existing do not get washed off. So on the embankment on the soil structure the stones are placed it is on soil this uh, sort of loose stones are placed riprap is placed to make sure that the soil beneath embankment beneath does not get washed off. So that is for energy dissipation so ultimately the riprap will dissipate the energy of waves on uh, we can say here its periphery and will not allow to cause any damage to the embankment. So that is for protection from erosion of soil as I told. Upper surface is made wide enough to provide roadway that is the upper surface on which the movement is being done. It is provided wide enough for the roadway facility that is for movement for sidewalk. Sometimes uh, rails or pipelines can also be provided in some cases uh, where the sort of cargo which is being handled is more in that situation a railway or connection communication facility can be provided and depending upon the commodity which we are handling pipelines might also be provided to serve the pier. So this is regarding mode. Next is the marine terminal part of port or harbour providing facilities for docking, cargo handling and storage. So basically where the accommodation is given and handling of cargo or storage of cargo is done. We discussed about the marine terminal in the first session of this chapter. So that is basically where accommodation, cargo handling or storage can be done. Terminal mainly handling passengers and their baggage is called a passenger terminal. So basically a terminal which is assigned for purpose of handling passengers and their baggage is termed as the passenger terminal. If traffic is mainly cargo then it is termed as freight or cargo terminal. And last is interland. So basically it is an area which uses a specific port for import and export operation. So when the basic focus is on the import export operations related to cargo or commodity that port specific port is termed as interland. So we will keep up to here in this session. In this session we have discussed about the function that is the basic function basic use of various harbor components. But in this session we have learned about each components in isolation that is one by one we have learned about the function and use of harbor components. In the upcoming session first of all we will see an image or figure in which we will learn as to how these various components are placed together in a harbor. So that will be in the upcoming session and we will learn the difference between barf and jetty as well and we will be continue, continuing with the various topics of harbor planning.